The Ford Motor Company recently created a new entity that they're calling Ford Performance. It's an umbrella organization that oversees all of the company's global performance car development and its global racing activities. One of the cool things coming out of this effort is they're now taking a one Ford approach with their performance vehicles, meaning they're gonna be sold globally, not just in one geographic area. I'm standing next to the first refresh they've done of the Focus ST, which was recently shown to the European media. I've got it because I've been invited to take this thing up into the mountains of Switzerland to see what it can do. Of course, my evaluation of the car was somewhat restricted because we were driving on public roads with traffic. And because we were driving in the mountains of Switzerland, this car was equipped with snow tires. Even so, I got enough time behind the wheel to get a good impression. But first, a quick review. Because this is the latest spec version of the Focus ST and there are some slight changes. The front structure of the car was beefed up with thicker brackets in the engine bay. It also gets new front springs and stiffer bushings on the lower front arms. Ford wanted to make the ST more neutral because it felt the car could get a little tail happy in certain situations. And to go along with those changes, it recalibrated the electric power steering for faster turn-in. The rear end still features that big spoiler that stretches across the car, as well as a somewhat more pronounced diffuser, and of course, those centered exhaust outlets. 19-inch wheels and tires are now available, as are slightly bigger brake rotors, 15 millimeters bigger than before. Inside are some slight changes, including a flat bottom steering wheel, but the Recaro seats, the ST pedals, and gauges on top of the instrument panel are pretty much the same as before. The engine is too. That same 2-liter EcoBoost that puts out 252 horsepower. Ford claims the ST will accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 6.5 seconds. The ST is a blast to drive, but surprisingly, it exhibited torque steer under full throttle acceleration. Was that due to driving on snow tires? I sure hope so, because I thought Ford's vaunted Revo knuckle was supposed to eliminate torque steer. I can't wait to get a chance to truly push this car to its limits on regular tires and where I don't have to worry about traffic. But it's great to see that Ford is still tinkering with the Focus ST, making it even better and not waiting for a model change to make these improvements.